hot butter. Guys, get one of these. You don't need a chainsaw anymore. All right, well, today we're going to uh, unbox a Pool & Pro string trimmer as well as a Pool & Pro pull saw. Now, the models are 428, limited two-year warranty. And it has the uh, rapid attachment system. 10W30. There we go. There it is. It's just... How to weed whack, how hard can that be? These gas and oil, max fill line, etc. etc. Let's see if we can do it without the quick shirt guide. In the States, you guys are saddled with those nasty spouts here in Canada. Surprisingly, we seem to be slightly more socialist. We don't have those crazy gas caps. I still manage to spill quite a bit. Daddy, stop. Oh, there we go. I spilled as usual. You can see it shows you your min max oil level. 75 milliliters or 2.5 ounces. I'm wondering if it's just exactly the right amount. I bet you, because this thing is only half full. It's a little above the min. We'll put a little more in. That's good. Let's put this trimmer attachment on. This goes in here. I'll loosen this. So you got to twist it until it matches up, and then you can push it all the way. Then you tighten this. There. This goes like. Okay. Now, pull these things out. You need to get them straight too. That's right. Right, push the button, give this a little more. There we go. You can prime all day long, it's not going to flood anything. See what it does is when you first pump and there's nothing in there, it's pressurizing the gas tank, which forces gas up into the carburetor, goes through all the systems, and then it goes back into the, the tank. We're good, full choke, should start. Let's see if it'll start. Brand new, out of the box, about 10 minutes later. Let's see. Ready, Thomas? Yeah. Oh, it's one of these easy ones, I don't like. Warm start, it says no trigger. It doesn't say trigger on a cold start, but I bet you that would help. Let's go back to full choke, full gas. Oh, I hate these. It hurt your hand. There we go, so that was the problem. I bet you if I read the manual, let's read the manual. It doesn't say nothing about pulling the throttle when it's cold. No throttle, but here, cold start doesn't say nothing about. Okay, maybe, maybe oh, and tiny running. Oh, even better now. Press and hold trigger for steps four, five, and six. Four is pulling. Okay, so read the manual. Still wants that full choke. It really does not like no choke. This leads me to believe the carb issue. These silly things, probably from the factor, are set so lean as well. We'll maybe look at that after. I don't know if you notice out there, if I get full throttle for more than a few seconds, it started to uh, die. So I'm assuming it's too lean. So let's start it up and I'll show you and then we'll see if we can fix that. All right, let's take this back apart, see if we can find the high speed. I thought I had the high speed. That was just a low speed. I don't even know if there's a high speed adjustable jet on this carb. There isn't. I'm super disappointed because this thing, it needs some adjustment on the high end. Let's take this off. Should be able to, like it should be fine. I know with my luck, I'll break this thing. There we go. Low speed. Where's the high speed? Through a hole in here. What's in here? That looks like that could be something. Oh yes, this is. This is what we were looking for, folks. I'm pretty sure. There's the hole. Can almost get it from the top there. 
can almost get it. Cable back on. And now we can hopefully adjust the high speed carb. Now to be able to adjust that, I have to take some of this plastic out. I can get at the high speed screw. I'm just gonna show you uh, what I had to do to make this run uh, better at full throttle. So let's start it up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how it worked before, but would stall on full throttle. So basically what the problem is, the high speed screw, which is on the top here, is turned in too much. So when you go full throttle, it's not getting enough fuel, it's running too lean and it dies. Let's start it up again and then I'll slowly adjust it out and then you'll be able to see how full throttle it'll run fine. See now full throttle it runs fine without bogging and dying now the one thing you know is after idle when I first pulled the throttle it died right away that can be because the low speed screw is a little too lean you need a little more fuel in there so we might have to adjust that a minute so when I hit the throttle you can see it right away dies so let's just work on that Still died again. Weed whacker runs good. Seems pretty powerful, eh? Yeah. All right, next we're gonna unbox Hulum Pro pruner attachment model PP5500P. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a little bit of bar chain oil. Keep out of reaching children and don't swallow. We got an extension bar, the bar with the chainsaw. Oh, look at this. It says danger, stand clear 50 feet. Oh, I like this. So I can put this on. You put that on your weed whacker and you put it on, and the danger sign goes on your back. See how I can go to town? Everybody will stay away from me. All right, what do we got here? Oh, look at this. We got a little scrunch, a manual plastic sleeve. Probably a five. Little team tightener. It says eight inches, but it's actually only seven or seven and a quarter. A little scrunch. Some plastic things and bolts. Not sure what these are for. Quickly look at the manual, although I don't like to do that. Danger, put it together. Let's not mess around with that. Let's fill up the bar and chain oil. They don't give you that much. They only give you enough for about halfway. Look at this quality piece. We got a plastic cover for the bar. Woo! I wonder how long that's gonna last. And then we have an extension pole here. Let's put it on so we can get the full experience. Tighten it up. The chain seems fairly tight already. All right, let's put it on the chainsaw. There we go. Tighten it up. We got it together. Let's uh, give it a try.
pretty good. I'm happy with that. You know what? We can do some pruning. Everybody will stay back 50 feet. And uh, yeah, look at that. Not too shabby. What do you say, James? Okay. Now we're gonna do a fun video. All right, guys, got my full safety vest on. Everybody's standing back 50 feet. Let's see if this thing can really cut. We're gonna start bucking some real size logs with this Pula Pro 28cc pull saw. We can cut these 18, 20 inch logs, no problem. Let's give it a try. Look at that, cuts through it like hot butter. Get one of these things, you don't need a chainsaw anymore. 